What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been pretty quiet as of lately. I haven't been generating a ton of content. Well, I take that back. I actually have been making a ton of content. However, it's been for other people's channels. If you keep an eye on the Rich Drew channel, you'll see some of my upcoming work that I've been doing with him. So it's been a lot of fun. There's a lot of growth and a lot of new faces that I'm meeting out here in Bentonville. Unfortunately, that does also mean that I haven't been creating as much content on my side of things, but hoping to change that soon. Anyway, the reason why I fired up the camera this morning is because over the weekend, I sold my Polygon Siskiyou T7 and I realized that I didn't give much of an explanation. It raised a lot of questions and concerns amongst the community. So I just wanted to try to like address some of that as well as speak on the merits of the bicycle itself while I have your attention. So first and foremost, I still plan to be working with bikes online. Uh, we are not parting ways or anything like that. Basically, the only thing that's happening is I am letting go of my Polygon T7 as my main bike. If Bikes Online was to approach me in the future to review more Polygon bikes, of course I'm gonna do that with open arms. They've done so much to support this channel, along with the rest of my amazing sponsors, which include Session Components, um, already working on some new bits for the next bike I'll be riding with them, as well as Venture Apparel Co. They've sent me a ton of really nice riding clothes that I haven't had a chance to make a review on, but be advised, I've been running their clothes and they are fantastic. I have a coupon code in my description, so make sure you check that out if you need some new jerseys and stuff like that. Um, but moving back to the topic at hand, um, we've already addressed how I'm not parting ways with Bikes Online. The next concern that people were having was, what was wrong with the T7? What, what didn't you like about the T7? Why are you selling it? To answer that question quickly and simply, I don't keep any bike. That's It's been that way since the beginning. Um, every bike that I've ever bought probably sticks with me on the channel for a maximum of a year. Just like a lot of other YouTubers out there, there was literally nothing wrong with the Polygon Siskiyou T7. That bike was extremely reliable and it never gave me a lick of trouble. In fact, when I passed it on to its new owner, in my mind, it still rode like new. However, I do go through great lengths to maintain things. I've heard some stories of like, you know, creaky linkage and stuff like that on Polygon bikes. I think that's BS. Uh, the truth is, is I've cracked open the linkage at 30 hours. Everything still looked remarkably clean, but I lubed it and cleaned it and retorked it anyway, and that bike never creaked. It was a fantastic bike in that regard. Um, so there was nothing wrong with it. It was just that time I'm ready to try something new. So to kind of like maneuver into that aspect, moving forward, or at least on this next bike, what I'm interested in trying is quite the opposite of what's trending. I want a shorter wheelbase bike and a steeper head angle. When moving out to Bentonville, I realized that there are a lot of tight switchbacks as well as a lot of pedally sections. So my preference for bikes now is leaning more towards that super efficient, maneuverable, nimble, zippy bike. I guess you'd call it down country now if we wanted to stay super trendy with it. So that's the category in which I am going. I had another bike lined up, but due to some financial reasons, as well as some reasons with how that bike was going to fit on my bike rack, AKA it wasn't going to fit at all. I had to pivot and switch bikes. Yeah, I probably won't reveal what bike that was because I'm not trying to throw any brands under the bus because to be honest with you, I still plan on working with that brand in the future, just not right now. Um, but again, it just wasn't going to work out this time. One of the main reasons being that the bike was too long to fit on my rack and I don't have the finances to just redo my whole rack situation for my bike. So I found something that was in stock, got a nice deal on it, and it seems to tick all the boxes, but we'll see. You know, I, I have an idea in my head of what I want out of a bike based off of what I've learned and what I've ridden and we'll see if if I'm right or if I'm full of it, I, I really don't know. Hopefully uh, the bike is awesome. But back to the Polygon Siskiyou T7. Again, folks, that bike was extremely reliable. It's just time for me to switch. 
And yes, I am sticking with bikes online. I plan to still do reviews for them as they see fit. You know, as long as they'll have me, I will continue to do work for them because they've been fantastic for the channel. And yeah, thank you Bikes Online for everything that you've done. And again, my other sponsors as well. Thank you Session Components and thank you Venture Apparel Co for being here for me. Um, even though, you know, my channel is still kind of on the small side. When I'm out on the trails, you know, I'm starting to generate some sort of audience and people recognize me and especially Polygon riders. They'll be like, oh man, I watched all your reviews and they're awesome. And that's just like the raddest thing ever. So yeah, thank y'all uh, for the support. And that goes to you in the audience as well. Um, but really, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. I really just wanted to like touch base, kind of let you know what's been going on on my side as far as what have I been doing what are my plans for my next bike and that sort of thing so yeah i think we're all caught up with that being said i know this wasn't the most exciting video but thanks so much for stopping by and checking in make sure to keep an eye on rich drew's channel because i got some really big projects that i've been working on with him that should be releasing soon other than that you know the rod is a cure and i will see y'all next time